Welcome to my AWeber email marketing tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use campaigns, how to set up a little bit of automation, and of course send out email broadcast. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can try out AWeber for free and follow along with me. Let's begin. So where I'm going to be on the specific section of the dashboard, if you look on the left here, I'm going to be under automation and campaigns. If you are just starting from scratch, that's where I'm going to be starting from in this specific tutorial. So you'll probably have a specific template like this. Should it change in the future, all you have to do is click on create campaign in the top right. But for now, I'm going to go with this one, utilize this and show you how to kind of like change it around and edit it as you need. So let's click here. All right. And so what I like about this example campaign is they have a lot of important aspects here. If you go through and look right here, we're going to have the four basic steps in this one. So on subscribe, whenever someone subscribes, it says trigger campaign for new subscribers. So you start a campaign when someone is added to your list. Pretty basic, right? So there are going to be some filters in case you want to like narrow it down towards like the source, the ad tracking and the country and so on and so forth. But we're just going to keep it as say someone new subscribes. Okay. Next after that, what's going to happen is there's going to be a specific tag. So add or remove tags from subscribers in your campaign. So add these tags to subscribers welcome campaign. That's just a way of saying that when they go through this, they're going to have this tag applied to them so that they can run through and you know that they're going to be getting the welcome aspects. Okay. Next is going to be sending a message as you've shown right here. So you can send a single message to your subscriber that you specify. Okay. Before we get to that, I'm just going to show you the end here is going to be the apply tag. After they are done, you add these tags to these subscribers. Now you'll notice how it says welcomed. That means they've gone through it. We've also removed the welcome campaign. So this is just two ways of showing that one, they have started the welcome campaign Two, they have gone through it and they've completed it. So they are now welcomed. And of course we remove them from that one. So that's the automation that's going to be happening here. If you ever wanted to add more, you can do something like this. You can do wait. You just simply drag and drop it. And you can choose the amount of days that's going to be set before the next action happens. So for example, if you want to send some more messages, what you can do is simply go here, drag and drop. You can choose a message or create a message, which I'm going to show you how to do. And maybe you wanted to do like wait one more day and you wanted to do one more message after that. You can do that. And what you can do is simply remove this, excuse me, move this to the bottom. So that could be the very last section. Okay. So that's going to be how you can actually use these to drag and drop them in there. I am going to remove these and just keep it how it was before. I believe this and this just like that. Let's click right here. And let me show you how you can actually change this message around. So what I want to do is just click right here. All right. So here we have it. This is overall going to be like the drag and drop editor for creating your emails. Pretty straightforward, right? If we wanted to add anything here, we can just go here and drag and drop it down there. And that's going to be where we can add that in. There is going to be the undo button, which is very good, right? So uh, in case you do something you don't want, you can always just undo it. If we wanted to say drag and drop an image there, we can do that. Instead of undo, you can just hover over and click on the delete button as well. We're going to have buttons, dividers, videos, logos, rows, and so on and so forth, like coupon signatures and you name it. So the magic right here is mostly going to be in what you put in your email. Of course, you don't have to have that there. You could say like, thank you so much for signing up. Maybe you were going to be sending them a free gift. So you could do something like, all right, so click here to download the free gift that you requested. Now, how do we link that? Let's highlight it right here. And we can simply click on this little link or we can go right here. It's really up to you. I'm going to go with this one and say, obviously whatever the URL is where they can actually download their free gift. I'm just putting that as an example and click on save. Just like that, we have our link. Now what you can do sometimes I like doing as well is we can bold it. And if you want to make it a little bit more blue, it says like, you know, some document colors. I like doing like the perfect blue. Is that I'd say perfect blue, I'm not going to get too fancy into it, but I think it looks better when it's bolded like that. If you wanted to do that. Okay. Anything else that you wanted to add in, you know, James, uh, I'm not going to go through writing the actual email right here, but should you want to do that, you can. There are going to be some aesthetic things here like individual corners, background colors, and so on and so forth. But a lot of this is going to be like the drag and drop aspects. If you want to add your signature there, you can say have your picture. And of course, you can use this as your signature. So if you want to use that, you can just simply delete this part. And there you go. That would be your signature. Of course, we talked about before we can use a logo. And let me just click to edit this and upload image. And there we go. That's going to be marketing Island. And what I'm going to do too, after clicking on it, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I don't think it needs to be as big. 
just to kind of do something like that. In fact, I could probably move it up a little bit higher. There we go. So now it's not like perfectly touching, you know, what's underneath it. So, but anyway, that's an example of what it would look like when it comes to creating your email. Pretty straightforward, right? Anything you want to use on the left, you're dragging in and dropping. Uh, and you can obviously edit in your links, your images. If you want to add videos, coupon codes, that's going to be up to you. Let's click on save and exit. All right, so this is an example of that automation that we have right here, or this specific campaign, where once again, anytime they subscribe, they get the apply tag, then they get this immediately, and then after that, they have the new tag on there, which is gonna be welcomed to showcase that they've gone through it, and removing that one as well. You can add more if needed, just simply type it in, and then you know separate it with a comma, and then enter as it showcases right there, and you're gonna be done. There's one more thing that you're gonna wanna do to make sure this is up and live. Let's click on save and exit. And what we can do is go to the three dots right here, click on this, and we want to do activate. Okay, and that's just something to keep in mind with the deliverability in case you haven't done that. I believe Aweber has separate like uh, video on that or at least an article that shows you how to do that, but that can be a different tutorial, but activate campaign here. And just like that, our campaign is going to be active. So whenever someone signs up, say on your landing page or sign up form, they're going to be going through this welcome campaign. Pretty straightforward when it comes to doing that. Now I just wanna show you how you can actually send out an email. All right, so if we go to the left side here, we have messages. Let's just do broadcast. All right, and if you are brand new to using Aweber, it's gonna look something like this. So what you wanna do is go to create a message on the top here, and we can just use the drag and drop editor. Personally, I think it's a good thing to use the drag and drop editor. And why? Because, well, we just used it previously. So you're not having to learn too much else, right? This is gonna be your email here. This is gonna be like the headline. There's a button here. And I think something like this looks fantastic if you wanna keep it as simple as this, where you can just go in and change around some of your email here, obviously, just clicking on here, deleting it, changing around your text. There's not too much else that I really need to talk about. Obviously, this can be your image here, your name, uh, anything else that wants to be drag and dropped in, I feel like would just be, you know, kind of repeating myself again. So that's the reason why I started off with the other one so that when you get to this, you know how to do it. Now there's something you can do. You can always preview and test if needed right here. And this is going to be what it looks like, you know, if it's going to be sent out. You do have the mobile preview in case you want to showcase that. I think that looks great as well. So we can go back here. We can just do back to editor. And let's say that's gonna be good, we can do save and exit. Now, something else that's really cool, you can do save as a template. If you like this template right here where say you changed around obviously your picture or your logo, your name, all you would need to do is just change around your email and your button call to action and your link. You can save that as a template. So every time you go back into creating a new email, you can use that template where all you just need to change around is pretty much this stuff right here. That'll make your life a little bit easier should you wanna do that, so I did wanna bring that up. Let's click on save and exit though. All right, so this is gonna be our email, and you'll notice how it says insert your subject here. We probably don't wanna send it out with that. I'm gonna show you how we can edit that around, of course. So I'm gonna click on that and do schedule. And if you'll notice, this is where we can add our subject line in. So it's actually a good thing in my opinion that you've created your email first and then it asks for your subject line after. That's a good thing because if you've taken some time to maybe brainstorm your email or maybe you've used AI, whatever it's going to be, you're already gonna have enough good ideas that you can use from your email, okay? Instead of trying to just create a subject line and then like forcing content to fit around that, you now have content here that you can utilize to create your subject line. So with an example, let's do, all right, and so for this, I just put templates for high converting emails just because I saw the word template there and that's what we're gonna be doing. So once again, if you wanna see what it looks like, that's just gonna be plain text, but mobile and desktop's probably the important one. You can do send immediately, or if not, you can do choose date. So what you wanna do is sending to your active subscribers on your current list. So uh, also something to note here is that if you have other lists, you can find them right here. I just have marketing island, so it's just gonna be that in this example, but that's how you can obviously change that. And this is where you can send them to something that's going to be a little bit different. No automations applied unless you have an upgraded account there. And of course, if you want to share it, you can. And then this is going to be some additional options. You can be emailed when message stats are available. That's going to be up to you if you want to do that. But I would definitely recommend keeping on track links clicked in the message. That's a good way to know if, say, your links are being clicked. Because like, having your emails open is one thing. But if you have important links in there and no one's clicking on there, that's going to probably want to tell you that, A, you're probably going to need some better calls to action. You might need some better link placements. Or you might just need more 
more links overall. Sometimes when people have a really long email and you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find that really teeny tiny link and something like that, you're probably not gonna get a lot of clicks. But an email that's shorter, where it has multiple links up at the top with good calls to action, you're probably gonna do pretty well. Nevertheless, the last thing here is gonna be doing a send message now, which I'm not gonna do at the time. You can do a send a test message too if you want, just to see what it looks like in your inbox. But when you are ready to go, simply click on send message now, and that is going to conclude this Aweber email marketing tutorial. So pretty straightforward stuff. You know how to set up a basic campaign when it comes to you know having someone go through an automation, getting their first follow-up, adding tags. And the good thing about that is that when you're creating those automated campaign emails, it's gonna be the same thing as sending out a broadcast email if you're using the drag and drop editor, which I recommend. It's fairly straightforward. Locate the information that you wanna use on the left, drag it to the right, edit your email, save it, add a few more details, and you are gonna be golden. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out Aweber, I will leave that link in the description where if you click that, you can try it out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.